The decisions that we make now as, as a civilization have a galactic implications. I asked a friend of mine, a great physicist, Sean Carroll, um, how many civilizations do you think there would be in the Milky Way galaxy, a typical galaxy? How many in a typical galaxy? And he said, none. I, I tend to say one. Okay. So somewhere between <laughs> zero and one, probably. But that, that's a guess. It worries me that let's, let's take that position. Let, let's imagine that in, in our galaxy, 400 billion suns, uh, there's just us that thinks, right? I mean, microbes all over the place, but in terms of things that think and can feel, and in a very real sense, bring meaning to the universe, all these things we've talked about, the beauty of these galaxies, they're not beautiful if there's nothing there to perceive them, right? They're just galaxies. So if that's it in this galaxy, then the decisions that we make now as a, as a civilization have a galactic implications, right? If we destroy ourselves, for example, deliberately or through inaction, then it's possible that we eliminate meaning, perhaps forever, in a galaxy of 400 billion stars. And so that's, a, I think, that we have a tremendous responsibility in a sense, not to do that. So I, I would be much more comfortable with our current predicament if the, if the galaxy was filled with civilizations.